Trinity Radio is on. on. The entertainment show that gets you up close and personal with today's hottest stars. Here's your host, Navelle J. Lee. Hey guys, it's Navelle J. Lee and welcome into a new Buzzcast here at Buzzworthy Radio. I had the chance to sit down and speak with Cassie DePaiva, who plays the role of Eve Donovan on NBC Daytime's Days of Our Lives. We loved her as Blair Kramer on One Life to Live, but we are loving her now as Eve. She's turning a lot of heads in the best way possible. We got to talk to her about a little bit of Eve's machinations ever since she returned to the town of Salem. We also got to talk to her about We Are What We Are, a horror indie film that Cassie filmed last year after the cancellation of One Life to Live. All that and more with Cassie DePiva. Check it out. Hey, Navelle. Hey, Cassie. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for all your kind words. Of course, of course, of course I would say all those wonderful things about you. This is one of my favorite well, ladies I'm talking to right now, just so you know. I, well, you are so sweet, and I really appreciate it. This is the lovely and talented Cassie DePiva, who, of course, I loved, I, I, and I'm going to, I I can't I can't say the words, because if I say them, I'll start crying. But I, I did love her as Blair Kramer. She was my woman. She w- really was, but... I'm falling in love with Cassie as Eve on Days of Our Lives right now, just so you know. You just came in and you just completely and utterly just took that role on and fell well, right. I really, didn't, I really didn't have a choice, you know. They offered me the job and I got to step up and, and, and put it out there. So I'm really grateful for the opportunity and I'm glad it's working. And, you know, you're not, I don't, you know, if you love Eve, that kind of says a lot about you, Lavelle. <laughs> Because she is, she is not a pleasant person. <laughs> she is not. A, she is not a pleasant person. And I think that's why I love her so much. <laughs> <laughs> she is. She's the queen of miserable. I think. <laughs> she, she is. I mean. I mean. I mean. I, I guess that says a lot about me and how I love vixens. I guess that's what it is. I oh yeah, that. it's so much fun to play. So much fun to play. Oh my God! I mean, you just came in, and I was just—I described her. She was, she's money hungry. She's man hungry. Um, <laughs> and, and you got a problem with that? Oh, absolutely not. But <laughs> she just has large appetite. That's all. She has oh. a, a large appetite for life. For life, but mm-hmm. mainly money. Mainly money. Mainly men. But there is absolutely some... power and power. And power, yes. Let's not forget that one. But there is some love in there somewhere, especially for her daughter. Yeah, there's her soft somewhere. spot, and that's um, that will drive Eve to do just about anything. And I think that is the the whole point of Eve's existence in Salem is to make sure her daughter has a better life than she did. Yeah. Exactly, and you you just have so much chemistry with everybody on the show, with uh, with True and Casey Moss and uh, Melissa Reeves and Jen Lilly. It's just it's just it's working off of everybody, and it it, it shows right on screen. It I I can't say well, enough about I, it. Well, I really you li- listed four actors. I just can't say enough about this ensemble of actors here at Days. It's such a great team effort, and it does take everyone to make the show work, but everyone works so well together. And I truly love Jen Lilly. I didn't op- really get an opportunity to work with her when I was quickly over at GH, but right, I'm aware right. of the work. And I think she's just fabulously funny and emotionally connected. And through O'Brien, I mean, what a breath of fresh air. She's so natural. Casey Moss is a little bitty Elvis. He is so sexy <laughs> and so great. And let me just put a crown on Missy Reeves. She happens to be one of the sweetest people I have ever met or ever worked with and such a delight to go, you know, toe to toe in our little snarky little cat fights. I mean, it's so fun that she hates Eve and I just delight in getting under her skin. It's great. It's great Uh soap. Oh, it's so much fun. And you just, you (laughs) just went to the mini event, I believe in uh, Vegas this past weekend. Yes, and my face hurts from laughing. I tell you, this cast just makes me laugh. <laughs> NBC was unbelievably generous and, you know, planned this event, and the fans came out, and it's great. And, I, you know, I got some, you know, uh, really one-on-one response to Eve, and I think they're liking it, so I'm happy. 
Now, I love the fact that they are incorporate, incorporating singing into it. And, you know, I watched one of the episodes where it, it was your character and Casey's character of JJ, and he was on his guitar, and you were both singing. And it was just, I was just like, oh, this is going to be awesome. I would love to see more of that because, you know, I never knew much about Casey's music uh, until uh, recently. But, of course, I knew all about yours. But it, it's nice to see that into the story somewhere. It's nice, and what's really, I think, is really nice is to see a different side of Eve through her music, and as much as she really hates the fact that J.J. is in Paige's life, it's a nice, they do have that uh, common ground with their music, and they're both for their love for Paige, but it was a nice, I thought it was, those were very nicely uh, written scenes, so it because it gave it a side of a connection between those two characters that you don't get to see because Eve is really trying to take JJ down, you know. Uh, absolutely, and she's going to stop at nothing to get JJ out of Paige's life, even if she has to yeah. use her old tricks. And I use the word tricks as in, you know, as in t- the character of Jill. As of yesterday, she's <laughs> she's going well. I'll just have to hire a hooker. I, you know, it works. Mm-hmm. It works in my life. So let me see if I can do what I can do. So I mean, hey, she she trying to work any angle she can <laughs> to sabotage that relationship. And of course, we know with all bad girls, everything always backfires. And poor O.E. I'm sure she's going to get her come up in one way or the other. But it should hopefully maybe this will work. I don't know. We'll see. You'll have yeah. to wait and continue to tune in. And I, I just got to tell you, I, I read your blog post, and it's uh, your son just started high school. I wanted to cry. <laughs> well, he didn't just start high school. He is a, is, senior, a senior in high school. In high school. His is and last he's year about, in high school. Yes, and did you see that other little picture of him? That was his first day when he was in first grade, in first and I'm grade. not joking. I saw that picture, and I was just like, oh, I saw it. It's like, oh, my gosh, where has the time gone? I guess I it's on my face. When you <laughs> when I saw it side by side, and yeah, I got the words mixed up, but of course I meant senior in high school. And I saw the picture of him in first grade, and then the it was one to the right, and I'm just going like, "Oh God, I'm almost 30." <laughs> well, honey, I'm 50. I'm 53, so I got about 23 years on on you. So it's a, a it does go by fast, and he is and continues to be just the brightest spot in my life, and I have enjoyed every step. In every phase of his wonderful life, you know, people say, "Oh, they're terrible threes. Oh, they're terrible when they're in their teens." And he's he's just been great every every step. And I just I love him so much. And of course, he's gonna. You know, I told him, I said, "You know, I can go to college with you." He goes, "I don't think so, Mom." <laughs> <laughs> you put you put that out there though. It, it's on the table. You know, I said, "Listen, I can do your laundry. I'll cook for you." And you know, I didn't actually finish college I dropped out in my uh, in my junior year we could be the first family to finish at the same time because no mom <laughs> just, he just flat out said no <laughs> that's right that's right uh, and I never knew this. I, I, I saw the, a, a trailer that you did uh, a, in a movie that you did, and it was from last year. Uh, we are who we are, and I, I never knew that. Yeah. I, I never knew that. Uh, that was my first time learning about that. So, what was that like to do that? Because it, it's just it's it's so horrific and gory, and it, it was. It was intense. It was intense, and and you can and you co-starred with a former uh, All My Children star, Amber Childs. Uh, in yeah. The too. So. Well, it was interesting. I, um, you know, one life to live had ended, and I had just, and I think it was well, it was I had just been offered my second round of air shows to do for General Hospital, and this was an independent film that shot up in the Catskills near my hometown in, like, May, the the month of May, and it just worked out. And I know I was cast based on the popularity of my character in the 1987 film Evil Dead 2. Yes. Because once you do a horror, you're in the kind of the horror film genre, you kind of are remembered. And that was such a classic film 
so when I went into auditions for it, I basically said, please let me do this part. It was a very small part, but it was really fun, and it was challenging, and it was after, you know, One Life to Live had been canceled, and it was it was such, it was completely different, of course, from Blair. Right. Um, and it was work, and I love, I don't really love horror films to watch, but I like to do them because they're so, they're kind of like, they're, they're a niche, and there's an audience built in, kind of like soaps, and um, I, I just like it. It was it was really fun to do, and kind of a challenging, physically challenging part, because I had to, like, drown and spit up black bile, and, you know. It's yeah. Just, I saw that in there, and I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Not, and it's actually a beautifully not... shot film, I oh, think. Oh, yeah. For, you know, it's really, really well done. It really did not, when I watched the trailer, it re, you could not tell, because you know how sometimes indie feels it has a certain look to it. This looked like it, uh-huh. was, it would totally be a feature film in a, in a regular movie theater. And Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Would you, in, in, in essence to that, would you ever do a, a similar type role again for the third time? Something like that? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, uh, um, I, I think it's kind of, I mean, for me, it's been difficult doing, being a daytime actress to be seen outside of that. Right. Other than just being a soap actress. But, um, so if I get an opportunity to do something different, I would love to do it. You know, I love daytime, but I would, you know, if given the opportunity, I would love to continue to do indie projects when available or, episodics when available it's just really hard i think for me for past i mean it's not for everybody I, it's been hard for me to be cast in anything i think people just see me as a soap actress <laughs> oh, but we love you though we love you no less and well we it's are... fine it's worked for me you know i i can't complain but it's just if if i get an opportunity I absolutely love to do it but we're loving you as Eve Donovan on the show right now, and we're looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, evil tricks, pun intended, that she has up her sleeve coming down the mm-hmm. pipe in Salem. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I, listen, I pick up the script every day and go, holy cow, <laughs> holy cow. <laughs> they are going to kick me off this show. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, no, I don't think it'll happen. It's good. It's all good. All good. But we can, uh, aside from watching Cassie DePiva on Days of Life, make sure you follow her on Twitter at Cassie DePiva. So much fun, breath of fresh air, and we're so happy that you're um, back on the daytime scene. I can't say enough about you. Well, you're kind, and you've always been kind to me, and I really appreciate it. And um, I just thank the fans out there and all those One Life to Live watchers. If you miss a place to to land or a home or a small town to, to follow, please come over to Salem because it's, it's a great place. And we've got um, Melissa Archer starting to air soon. Yes, um, yes. So it's kind of nice to have her on board. I have a familiar face that I can see every day and it's, it's, it's great. Absolutely. I can't wait. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, honey. Hope to talk to you soon. Many thanks to Cassie DePiva for stopping by the podcast today, as well as following her on Twitter at Cassie DePiva. You can also check out her official website at CassieDePiva.com. You can always, always watch her on Days of Our Lives, weekdays on NBC as Eve Donovan. But that's it for me for right now. I'm Navelle J. Lee, making sure you keep getting the latest buzz with Buzzworthy Radio by simply logging on to our website at www.BuzzworthyRadioCast.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at Buzzworthy Radio and liking us on our Facebook page. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. From Twitter to iHeartRadio, Buzzworthy is everywhere, everywhere. Miss the show? Log on to BuzzworthyRadioCast.com for past shows and videos of some of your favorite stars. Stay connected to Buzzworthy Radio.